Hey guys, welcome back. In this tu in this uh, tutorial, we'll be covering mainly setting up our procedural building project. Um, so we'll be setting up that interesting third person, first person camera, and set up the plane or well our field of which we're going to be doing stuff. And yeah, all right. So um, we're gonna just start a new project and go to third person mode. Um, that's to get the interesting feet and hands, uh, just like in that you saw in the intro video. Uh, start it with the starter content because we'll be actually using some of that stuff. And um, can I just call it like proc build? You can call it anything you want though. So create. Wait a couple seconds. Um, <clears throat> so this will require just a couple things. Uh, this will require us to create a socket for our uh, actual mesh, um, create the socket where the head is. Um, we're going to modify where the camera and this thing called the camera boom is, and we're going to add some blueprints into our thing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just reorganize this a little bit. I'm used to the old format that they had, which is like this. Uh, make this a little wider, make this roughly even, and list. And then if we just jump right in, we're going to do a couple edits to our character itself, um, just how it functions. Um, for example, this jump with gravity is very floaty, in my opinion, and will not look good in the um, first person mode. So I'm just going to edit that. If you go to the, or if you click on the character rather, and then click on edit in third person over here, uh, it'll jump straight to this instead of going to actually search through it. Um, now this is the new version. I'm using 4.7.4. Um, you guys should be able to get it since Unreal Engine is a fr is free now. Um, but the different one of the big differences is that instead of a thing on on the uh, top right hand corner right here where it has like the viewports and details, it's now found here and here, and the details are right over here. So <clears throat> Go to viewport, uh, click on character movement, or yeah, character movement. I'm um, going to set gravity up to 1.7. I found that works pretty well. Uh, and then the jump, well, jump velocity can stay the same. And yeah, alright, let's leave everything normal. And if we jump back in game, we test it, it's a little less floaty. I think it looks better. Um, Alright, let's go back over here, or actually, over here. And we're going to now attach that socket to our character's face. So go to character and skeletal mesh. So we'll see our character. Hop over to the skeleton section. Find the head, in this case. The head is over here somewhere. There it is. And we're going to attach a socket to it. So right click, add socket. We'll call it camera socket. And this is just so that when we attach the camera to the head, because this socket is attached to the bone structure, it will move as the character is moving. So if in the idle pose he's just kind of moving up and down like you see in one of these, like you see like this is jumping, but you'll see that the camera socket moves with that uh, particular bone. So after you do that just like save and close. Um, Alright, next step we're going to go to the camera boom part and we're going to be moving it around a little bit and also setting the arm length which is this red string over here down to zero so that wherever it is the camera will be. Um, I found that setting it to 30 and about 68.5 is good enough for that. And for the actual camera, uh, setting this to like negative eight 
is good. Um, and also the field of view for the camera itself, uh, I have it set to 95. So th these ones, if, if you don't like it in this perspective or like in this type of format, you could always change the settings. Um, this is just the one or the settings that I found to be looking okay. Um, all right, so after you do all that, go to the event graph, and we're actually going to do a little bit of blueprinting. Um, and so over here, we're going to drag the camera boom down here. So we have a little thing for that. And we're also going to drag the mesh down there because we'll be attaching the camera boom to the mesh. So event begin play. And then we're going to attach to this, or connect those. So the, the target is the boom, and we're attaching it to the mesh. On the mesh, we have a socket named camera socket. And then keep world perspective, or keep world position. And um, that's really it. So hop in game and see what you did. And we have this interesting thing. Now, this right here it looks like it's an error, which it is. Um, but that's actually because we have our um, rotation um, disconnected from the actual character and so that can be found in the details pane over here uh, if you go to the third person character over here can go to uh, use controller rotation Click that on. That should resolve the problem. Yeah. See now you have your character moving around, and you have this like cool-looking third-person, first-person hands. And yeah, so that's how you get that part set up. Now, um, just so that we uh, have a place to actually play around with. I'm actually going to delete a lot of these stuff. I suppose you can also do it in here, um, but just to be clean and for the sake of it, I'm going to just delete all of this. I'm also going to remove, let's remove that, remove the player start, whatever this thing is. Those can stay. Uh, and the light mass, importance, volume. I can, yeah, that can stay. And then let's just put a very basic um, plane down by just going to cube, dragging that out here somewhere. And it really doesn't matter where you have it. In fact, if you want to, you can just uh, do use the landscape tool and just flood the whole world. Um, it would probably be easier to do that. I'll go that route. Um, create new. We're not going to use a material. Um, we don't particularly care about the size. That's big enough. Maybe a little bit bigger. I think that's perfect and create. There, we have our little landscape area and notice that I also removed the player start and I did that so that we can just hit play and it will hop to wherever our current position is. Uh, so if you wanted to just jump on top of the building right away, you can just immediately do that. <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything to the landscape so we'll just keep it like that. Uh, I think that's pretty good where it is. Uh, move the this light mass volume over here and actually later on we'll be changing the lighting because I I found that with the procedural generation the normal directional lights does not provide good enough lighting 
for uh, for the building. It a lot of areas come out dark and sometimes really choppy, um, and so we'll be modifying that at a later time. Not right now, though. Uh, right now, we're just trying to get our environment set up. I'll just keep that light mass. All right. All right, so we have our, our playground, our little world that we're going to be building our stuff in. From here on out, it's going to be a ton of blueprint work, and I will try to explain as much as I can with each video. Um, um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please place them in the comments below, and I'll try to ask them in a timely manner. And make sure to like and subscribe and keep with us because this tutorial series is going to be actually pretty interesting and very pro programming centered even though we're using blueprints. So stay tuned guys.